Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our regular scheduled programming. I am back from San Diego, and I am ready to add the gold texture to the front of this piece that I've been telling you now for two weeks I was going to do. I'm going to get my golden ticket, I'm going to have a brayer, and I'm going to have press and seal. Those are the only three supplies that I need. Hello, how are you? Matt's here. Hello. Abby's here. She's kind of quiet. No, you didn't. No, 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 you didn't do that just now. <laughs> I'm going to tear off a few strips right now. I also have a spread love giveaway announcement. It came out in your email today. We posted it on social media, but we have 23 nominations so far after just the first few days. Um, hello, how are you? Woo -woo! I miss you too, my Michelle. Um, we had a great time. The weather was super warm though. I'm not going to lie. The humidity was off the chart. So when it's not that hot temp wise, but then the humidity is getting you and then your, your beach or not your beach house, uh, your little Airbnb doesn't have AC. It's, it's steamy at night. You know what I mean? So we were, we were happy to be here in our AC, but it's so beautiful. Um, the people that we met at Debbie's store during the video boot camp, they were just phenomenal. Some of them were so new, but they were so brave. And it's just always so encouraging to meet women that are putting themselves out there, just scared to death, but going for it anyway. And I come home inspired, ready to teach more, learn more myself. And I had so much I could learn from them. Uh, but Debbie did an amazing job with her boot camp, Denise and Michelle and all of Debbie's staff. And if you're on here right now and I met you, we I'm have, so glad I saw you. We have two people on. Yes. On YouTube. We have two people on YouTube. Two. Like total? Total. Wow. YouTube. And Lisa Dixon is one of them. Thank you, YouTube, for the support. I really appreciate I'm that. I'm not sure who the other one is, but I'm going to be honest with you. That's impressive. <laughs> Two people. Uh, yeah, that makes me feel awesome. Um, so I'm rolling press and seal around my brayer, and I promised you guys that we were going to create that textured look using a brayer that I did on our Parisian China Hutch that I've had now for two years. We thoroughly enjoy it. I love it even more than I did before, um, just because I'm. It's it's become part of the house, and I just adore it. Um, and Tonda says, I'm going over there now. I know. She just joined. I see where she just joined. <laughs> and Cheryl goes, okay, I'm going back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but stay on Facebook if you don't mind. Um, I'm not running on Instagram today because I took my extra phone with me to San Diego, and I left it in the bottom of my purse, which is where it still is right now. And I didn't have time to go run and grab it. So um, I we started our Spread Love giveaway. So, guys, if you haven't seen the Peace Treasure Chest, I'm giving that away to some of um, to one of you guys or someone that you know, it doesn't matter whether you've met the person, never met the person, um, but you know of their name and you know of the special things and deeds that they do. Uh, Michelle has just posted the link right there. I would love more than anything for you to nominate. I printed off just a few, um, literally just picked the first like seven or eight um, and printed them off and I'm going to read them to you here in just a few minutes. Um, I also want to explain how the rules work. You cannot nominate yourself, but we are looking to all of last year, we gave away furniture and paintings during when COVID started. We wanted to do something. Thank you so much. Um, this is Blue Iris and Water Lily and a little bit of Old 57, all colors from DIY paint. Um, and I am trying to recreate the look I did on my hutch that's in the living room. And I'm going to use Golden Ticket with IOD's brayer as well as some press and seal. This is not saran wrap. This is press and seal. Um, this is a product that I learned from Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out. Um, she used this to cover her trays and cover her things and wrap up her brushes. And I decided to wrap it around my brayer a couple of years ago and I'm still doing it. I love it. Um, but the YouTube family is over here. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. So I wanted to say that you, I, our goal here is for you to just pay it forward, pick someone around you, either online or in your life that has just done something that stands out, that just makes them, makes you feel like, wow, that really got my attention. Um, the things that they do and you want to pay it forward. So all you have to do is click the link, you nominate them, and then Matt is going to choose three finalists. 
Did, you look at me did you even hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I said, you're going to pick the finalists. I did. I was thinking since you said it, I don't have much choice. <laughs> Matt's going to pick the finalists, and then we will send out an email to everybody on the mailing list, which we hope you're there, and um, you'll vote for the finalists, okay? And then we will ship that piece of furniture to them. We've even already received $100 in shipping um, from one of you guys, who is always so incredibly generous. Um, so pretty special and i love you guys so much the first nominee now there are 23 i only printed like seven or eight um actually let me get started on the gold that's what we'll do let me get yes. started on the gold that get way we can yeah gold. let me get started on the gold because while it's drying they want to see you work your magic with the gold um we had quite a few of you guys that are on here right now you were nominated and then there were quite a few of you on here right now nominated somebody else so Thank you for being amazing. It means the world and just absolutely warms my heart every single time we do this. After we do this piece of furniture, I'm going to also do a canvas painting and we'll start this process all over again. Guess what I got to do today, guys? Can I guess? Is that, does that mean I get to guess? Well, I mean, you can guess, but you do, you do already know what I got to do today. You got to leave the house and go to the store today? No, it made me angry. They didn't have what I wanted. I got to interview Matt Woods. Lolly, Lolly. Oh, honey, you know, she sent $20 for shipping. Will you write that down? Yeah, I got Thank it. you so very much, Emma. I appreciate you so much for doing that. Uh, that little two piece dresser, depending on how far it goes, um, it'll probably be $250 to $300 to ship. That's amazing. Um, I got to interview Matt Woods today for my podcast. So he and I ran into the to my closet where I do all of our recordings, had the mic, the computer on the ironing board, and we were so fancy. And I interviewed him and made him talk about his childhood and growing up. And there was a whole lot of feelings going on in yeah, that thing. Yeah. There was a lot of feelings. There was a lot of there was some laughter. There was some laughter crying. Not for me. There was some probably some some stories true maybe not true one i'd never really heard or if i had i'd forgotten it on purpose don't ever tell our children that story by the way which one the one about the four wheelers oh yes do yes. not ever tell them that story <laughs> tammy weber says getting in the closet okay now this is a funny this is funny tammy says uh we're we're sitting there Sitting in the closet, actually. That's we, where I record all podcasts. Right. The audio is just so much better. But anyway, she goes, text Holden went home at the time. She goes, text Holden that you and I are in the closet. I said <laughs> recording, we, a we're recording a because podcast. Recording a podcast he had just in left. the closet. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to text a 16-year-old boy. Don't come in our room. Your mom and I are recording a podcast in the closet. <laughs> he just left. It was just funny. And I knew he was coming right back. And um, he went to pick up his friend. And I knew he was coming right back. But I was going to close the doors. And I just I just felt like, let, let Holden know where we are, what, why like we're home. And go ahead and say what we're doing. Because... Yeah. Even when you say it, it still sounded funny. <laughs> <laughs> Because my, I mean, as, as you know, my first thought was, okay, that just sa sounds funny. So I was sitting there thinking to myself, how can I say this? I couldn't come up with a better way to say it. I'm so, gonna be honest with you. It was all just, you have to say is, your mom and I are recording a podcast. That's what I said in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. It was funny. Where were some, yeah, it's going to be a good one, guys. It's going to be out this Thursday, actually. There were no breaks. Um, I mean, we powered through it, and um, it was really short. The interview? Yeah, I was ready to go another two It was hours. like, an, it was the longest podcast I've ever recorded, weirdo. Like, we just kept talking and talking and talking. It was good. It was good. Abby was in the closet with us. She was being a good girl, and then she started being noisy, so... Yeah, Lolly Lolly says, quotation marks, recording a podcast, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm not the only one. It was funny, though. It but, was. It, but it was good. I think it was good. Well, you know what? It wasn't all jokes. 
And a lot of times when you get Matt Woods around, it's a lot of just jokes. And so he was serious. And we talked about some hard times, the good times, the best times, reality. It was just real, wasn't it, babe? Yes, sir. It was just real. It's all I've good. been wanting to get him in there, but guys, I told you now he has his new segment for the journal, right? It's coming out in this next month's issue. So now that he has his own segment, I decided I was going to go ahead and interview him. <laughs> uh, Rob says probably a lot of bleeps. No, nope, Rob, no bleeps. I'm going to be honest with you. I was on my best behavior. No bleeps at all. I never, ever. There was a few times that I had to pause and try to think of another word. But I, I did. I, I, I was nice. You're always nice. I was a nice guy. But I, you know, I listened to Jamie and Zeb's today. Did you did you listen to it today? I listened to it today. Did you enjoy it? If you guys, yes. If you guys uh, didn't catch that, uh, the podcast. They did so good. Because you had they had the inter you had an interview with them as well. Oh yes, I had the interview on Facebook on the journal spotlight. And then I got had him on the podcast, and that one came out Thursday. And um, gosh, it was so good. But I mean, I knew it would be. They're easy to talk. They're used to being on camera and talking and standing in front of people. So. Yeah, that podcast. The podcast is really good. I listened to it this morning and found some things out. Basically, Zeb and I are brothers. <laughs> I think I literally think. Um, <laughs> We just have different Since problems. you were separated at yeah, birth. just separated at birth. You went one way and I went the other. And... I told them, I said, you guys, I have a proposition. I, I think I threw them off because I, I totally caught them off guard. Yeah, you did on that one. It was really good because they had no idea what was coming. And I was like, I have a proposition. You, me, Matt, and Zeb, all four of us, talk show, weekly talk show. Okay, just think about it. I said, don't answer now. Just think about it. And they were both like, is she being for real? She's like, they're like, how can we answer this but not answer Not this? offend Dion right now. <laughs> None of us have any time for things like that. However, I did want to see the reaction on their face, you know, so I could say, hey, Matt, we're going to be with Zeb and Jamie because, you know, you know how Matt is. Um, okay. I for love the, this so much. Yeah, for the longest time, I thought it was... Uh, and I'm going to put black wax. Zeb Vintage. Did you just cut Jamie out? And then I realized... You just cut... No, then I realized that his wife, I think her name is Jamie, helps him from time to time. And so... You are so hilarious. I didn't realize his wife was... I think was her, such a big part of the business as much as she is. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That'll be out Thursday, guys. The one with Matt. Yes. I'm going to read you guys some of the nominees. You guys are really special. Just a few minutes. I'm going to do this top section up here. Um, yeah, Lolly. How about a little Talk to Me Tuesday? with Dion inside our creative connection, please. She must be scared. Hmm? Look at that. See what I did there? I did that. I just challenged I like Lolly to talk to me Tuesday in the creative connection. So what everybody do this week? What did I miss? I missed you guys on Wednesday. I missed you on Friday night. I had a VIP night Friday night. Um, just found out some amazing things about these incredible women that came out to Debbie's, um, missed my guy. That's for sure. Uh, Marlene still. Hi is, Marlene. Is this blue iris and water lily under the gold? Yes, it is dear. I started it a couple of weeks ago, I'm trying to recreate the look I have on my hutch that's in our living room because everybody always asks me about it. So I wanted to redo it. For you guys it's been two years and i'm wrapping the the press and seal around my brayer we're going to use black wax on this and this piece will be available um tutorials guys i had five tutorials come out today in case you didn't know three of them are furniture tutorials and i bundled them together they're the best of i still have people asking me for these tutorials and i took them I took them down. We edited them into short videos that were straight to the point. 
And I also have two large Canvas tutorials that we've condensed down. And all three of the, or all five of those are available on my website as of now. We just launched them today. I've been working so hard. And Kristen Calhoun has worked on all five of my videos, plus so many more videos coming next month. We've been all working so hard. My team is amazing and has got all of those ready for you guys. All right, so I've wrapped another roll around. Uh, Martha Stewart, uh, when do we have to have our nomination day? Um, the deadline, I believe, is another week. Um, I think it's another week at least, Marfa. So you have plenty of time. You can go and actually nominate right now, uh, but you have all week to do it, okay? They are an adorable com com uh, couple. Couple. They are I, very just, just out of curiosity, I notice this sometimes. Okay. Do you say Zeb and Jamie or Z Jamie and Zeb? I say Zeb and Jamie. Okay. Okay, I was just curious. I always say Zeb and Jamie. I write it that way. But I also say Matt and Dion. But I always, I almost always put the guy's name first for some reason. Uh, Susan Martin, is Golden Ticket a paint? It is a top coat. It is a patina. Metallic. It's, okay. it's a metallic golden, it's a patina, so it can be used as a top coat. It's it's sheer, but I mean it, it is considered a paint, yes. But it's a metallic watered down paint. It's 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 the consistency is thinner than the paint. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Kathy Henderson. Good day, Crikey. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. You're so welcome, Susan. We're getting ready to read those names. Does anybody have an idea of who they might nominate if they haven't already? I see some of you on here that have already nominated. Mm -hmm. I see three, four people on here that were nominated by somebody else. So you guys, be sure you stick around because you're getting ready to find out you were nominated. Now, I didn't print all of them because there were 23 of them. I only printed a few. But I will try to list off at least a list of names. Shelly Sprague, hope I said that. She says, hey, just jumped on, painting a, on a king-sized bed. Hey. Rails and footboard. Woo. I have a new appreciation for everyone who does this day in and day out for a living. Thank you. She I appreciate on, that. She's on day five. Yep. Yes, girl. It's quite a commitment, isn't it? Wow. Get this, honey. I hope I get this right, the name correctly. It says, uh... Vasilis Kantos. Hey. Hello, everybody from Athens, Greece. Wake up before midnight or so I can watch you. Oh, oh you. my gosh. Thanks for being here from Greece. Um, I know that Cheryl Atkinson was nominated. I know that Betty Hiltz was nominated. I know oh. Tammy Weber was nominated. I know that Deborah Shine was nominated. Kathy Anderson is a little upset right now, honey. Oh, no, darling. I know it. Tell me what happened. She cannot get press and seal. <gasps> That's the rudest thing ever. That is a catastrophe. You can't get it to Australia? I can think of a lot of things right now that make me mad, but that would probably make me furious. I'm with you, Kathy. Maybe yeah. we'll maybe we'll just send you some. That's, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so rude. So I started a new series today, guys. And I'm outside. I've got a five foot canvas on the garage floor. And I'm kind of drawing it out. And I've been putting this off for several weeks because, well, I just haven't had time, right? And I've got this figure lined out on my canvas and Holden raises the garage door and he's home and he goes, oh, mom, doing zombies? <laughs> no, not doing zombies, Holden. 
Nope, not doing zombies. Could you show? Trying uh, to do people. We have a few on here that are not sure what press and seal is. So maybe you could show the box. And oh, yeah. This is stuff I've been using for several years, guys. Let me show you. I use it all the time. Just a minute. I will. Lisa Dixon says hello. Hi, Delisa. Where you been, sister? I remember the first time I used this on a piece of furniture, it was that black peony piece. And I painted pink peonies on a black piece that was, or was it black or was I, did I use old school? I can't remember. I can't remember. But guys, um, if you have any questions about the tutorials, they're on my website. You go to coaching and then you just click tutorials and they are brand new. We haven't had any on there in a long time but we've edited the videos and shortened them and made them as special as we could and straight to the point. Delisa, I did take away two gold stars because you were late, but you have a good excuse, so I'll put two gold stars back on. She had to talk to her parents, honey. I get it. That's why I said I'll put them back on now. Parents come first. Um, okay, so I'm going to read these in just a second. Did press and seal that? is this. Just glad press and seal. It it's covers. Sticky. It covers food. You, you, it covers food, but you use it for painting. You use it for your brushes. You use it for to cover your plates. Yeah, I have my I have my caddy wrapped in it right now, so I don't have to wash it. Yep, 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 yep. When I know I'm going to be working on a project, and that's uh, Quita Allen showed me that. I've all shoved out that I started rolling around on brayer on my brayer for some texture too. Um, um, several of you wanted to know about the. Um, the furniture course that I put together for the abalone splendor piece that's coming in a few weeks guys that's not this month that's next month uh, the other ones are on my website right now um, okay so like I said we had 23 nominations and for the spread love for that piece that I just did last week and I'm giving it away we're gonna ship it to somebody um, thank you for those two that have donated for the shipping y'all are amazing and um, let's pay it forward. Let's spread some love and some joy. And um, my hope is that it will inspire you to do something. It doesn't have to cost you anything. It doesn't have to be furniture or paintings. Um, that's just something that we are able to do. And I'm, I feel very lucky for that. Um, the first one comes from Susan Williams and she's nominated Jane Cumby. I nominate my mom to receive this treasure chest. Through the years, she has given away so much of her beautiful furniture to her kids, her grandkids, and others who might have been in need. And now that she is newly widowed, she finds herself with a relatively empty home. Receiving this beautiful treasured chest as a gift would be a way to help give her back her life as much as she's given away her entire life. That was so nice. Susan, thank you for nominating your mama, Jane. I love that. Um, Eliza Davis has nominated Susan Henderson, and she says she's been through infertility struggles and a divorce. I'm happy to say that she has overcome this and is engaged to a wonderful man, and they are to be married in March. She's also a nurse that works with the elderly. She's a very given, giving person, and I thought this piece of furniture could symbolize the start of her new life with her new person. Eliza, that was so special. I don't know if it's Eliza, but it's Eliz. Uh, oh, it's Elizabeth Davis, my apologies. Part of this names are cut off. Um, Monica Mercer nominates her friend Deborah Shine, who is also my friend. And she says, Deborah has gone through great losses and then lost her son last year. She has had to also move to a new state and start over. She has gone through all this with such grace while continuing to incur, encourage others, including me, and share her faith and her journey. And she's an inspiration. Monica, thank you for nominating our friend, Deborah. Sunny Meadows nominates Miss Tammy Weber. She says, there are just too many incredible reasons why, but one of them is that she is so giving, encouraging, and selfless to her fellow creatives. She supports all of us. Did you hear that, Tammy? Hopefully she's still on here. 
Uh, Rob Gloria, he nominated two people. The first one was Cheryl Atkinson, and the second one is Betty Hiltz. He said, Betty has been supporting Team Turquoise for several years, and she always has been there to support fellow artists in the community. I've never met her in person, but I feel she would be exactly what I would imagine. Big hearted, giving, and just so much fun to be around. I know she would appreciate a piece of Dion's artwork. Look at that, Rob. Thanks for nominating our girl, Betty. Also, Cheryl Atkinson. I did not print that one out. Um, Jerry Potok, she reckon, she nominates Miss Diane Devine. And for some reason, her response didn't print out. I don't know what happened here, but um, I had two of them not print out the responses. It says, um, Barbara McQueen nominates Morgan Barker. And then the response didn't print. So my apologies, guys. There were 23 so far. Uh, we sent it out in the email today, and there are, well, that was what, seven? So there are a lot more. Thank you so very much. Aw, right, Tammy, you heard your nomination. That's so very nice. You guys are, you guys just kill me with all of your kindness. Betty says that is so sweet. Love you guys. We love you guys for continuing to show up here. Um, I'm going to keep working on this piece. Um, over the next couple of days. I, what I would really like to do is to start a new piece for you guys on Wednesday. I'm hoping I can get to that. Um, I'm going to just keep doing this same exact technique over the whole piece. If I don't get to it and get finished, uh, Vanessa, you use the link we've posted in the thread here on Facebook. It's also, if you're on my mailing list, it went to your mailbox today and your in email. It's posted on my website or on Facebook. Um, but if Michelle's here, she'll post the link again for you. Yeah, Michelle is here. Vanessa, just give us just a second and Michelle will post that link for you again. Uh, it's a piece of furniture that um, I painted exclusively for my, um, my creative connection. And everybody loved it so much, so Matt and I decided we'd give it away. We really like giving stuff away. It's fun. It is fun. Man, it's fun. Uh, so what's I'm, fun is people nominate other people. That's the fun thing. You're not allowed to nominate yourself, but you can nominate other people. Most of the time, most of those that were nominated are strangers. And I think that's the part that tugs at my heart. Guys, there's so many nice things you can do and they don't even have to cost a penny. Thank you, Michelle, for tagging Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would much rather, much rather give than receive, Betty. There are several on you right now who have received pieces, pieces from us last year, which is pretty special. So all I have to do on this is probably sand it down a little bit. I might work on the gold hardware a little bit. Um, actually, let me do that right now because I want to highlight the hardware a little bit better than they are. And the black wax is going to bring it down just a notch and antique it a little bit. All of these delicious pieces, let me tilt the camera up so you can see how tall that is. So I've got to do that all the way up there, but there's a little bit more blending that needs to happen before I'm completely happy with it. Those of you that are sprinkling the video to your friends and family, I really appreciate you. That means that maybe more and more people will share the spread love and maybe do the nominations. Yes, yes, please. Um, please tell me what you can. Send this video out and let them know that... Uh, they can just submit and... Or maybe it'll inspire them to do something nice to their name for their neighbor, this maybe. This is true. Uh, Lolly would like to know, have, have we named her yet? We have not named this. I haven't settled on a name. Somebody earlier said Blue Tifal. Blue Tifal. I love it. It's pretty good. I'm open to the suggestions, though. I don't have a name at all. And this is my third video for her, so we really need to start calling her something. I think so. What about... Hmm. Matthew, did I tell you my creepy story? Probably. About saying what happened in, at night in my, my Airbnb? Was it with the, the, the fan? Yes. 
Yes, I'm sound asleep. And in the middle of the night, my fan, which it has to be on high because it's 82. Called the, called the two, they're, they're, two, they're called the, the two cords, pull chains. The pull chains. They start tapping each other. And on top of that, I have stars in my bedroom on the ceiling, look fluorescent neon, glow in the dark stars all over my ceiling. So if you wake up, you're, you know, you're under a canopy of stars. So, which I'm not complaining. It was a wonderful, beautiful house just perfectly placed too um but the ceiling fan all of a sudden i start hearing tick, 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 and i'm like what is that so i wake up and i'm thinking i can't even see them but they must be hitting each other so i'm in the you know when you're, you're on your knees on your bed and you're trying to stand up in your bed but you're really asleep and you're trying to grab the two things but they're turning in circles and you know that you're about to fall over yeah it was, it was funny I did it twice one night all right, we have some names coming in. Right? Do we? Blue Crystal. Bring it. We have, uh, Betty's the one that said Blue Tifol. Blue Tifol. Um, Jewel of the Caribbean. Cheryl, um, Lisa says Denim and Gold. Yep. Pretty good stuff. Awesome, you guys. Thank you. I was just listening. Thank you. So, so you're saying that... So it creeped me out. I'm like, why all of a sudden in the middle of the night would they just start tapping? Nobody opened the door. Nothing changed in my room. And that kind of creeped me out. So I had a really hard time going back to sleep that night. But my favorite, one of my absolute favorite parts of going to that part of the country in San Diego and California is the food. <laughs> food. Lolly says, uh, Jeans and Blaine. Didn't we get to an event one time that was, was it diamonds and denim or denim? No, and I diamonds? had painting diamond and diamonds and denim. Like, didn't we get an event like that for one of my clients? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Could have been. I didn't. Denim, denim and diamonds, I think. Oh, I didn't remember that. I named a painting that. To a couple of paintings, I think. I love that name. I'm just highlighting the hardware a little bit more, guys. Lolly doesn't have a scare gene. You can't scare Lolly? That's, I think that's kind of my mission now. No, you don't want to scare a person. She's just tougher than me. Well, Lolly's pretty tough. I think she could take me. It would be a good one. Yeah, she could take you. She might, she might, she might go the distance. I might go the you distance. You know what? Lolly came up in my feed today. Uh-oh. Our, because la this time last year was when we met Emma. And she came up in my feed as a memory today. That whole workshop in McKinney. So all those pictures came up today. It was so sweet. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Bring it. My hubby tried to scare me, and I popped in the face. I popped him in the I face. popped him in the face. <laughs> That's good. Well, I, well I'm going to do it from far, then. <laughs> we have an anniversary. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't see Dion the Gold. On the blue is invigorating. Thank you, Janae. My picture's frozen and I can't hear you, but I'm loving this. Oh, Nancy Williams. Well, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign off. Um, I'm hoping that we can just create something really magical with this piece. We're on our way, that's for sure. This is my third time to be working on it, so I'm going to sign off. I may or may not be back with it on Wednesday. I'll be back Wednesday, but I'm not sure what we're going to be working on. Um, again, the color is Golden Ticket. You can find a retailer. You can order it on their online shop, or you can go to mine. But uh, most of our retailers for DIY paint carry the Golden Ticket. It's a favorite amongst many. Good night, everybody. Thank you for the nominees. I'm going to be looking for more every single day. I'm going to be going and seeing it. Super excited. Thank you, Lori. Um, blue sparkle. That's a good one. Treasure chest. That is Susan. That's what we just named. Uh, well, we called it treasure Island. The one that we're giving away is called treasure Island. All right, everybody take care. I hope that you have a great Monday and you start your week off on the right foot. See ya. See ya.